So, um, you know, today me and Nick have been ranting a lot about basically just guru bullshit, right? Um, yeah. You know, gurus are, they're gurus, for, for the most part, gurus are gurus for a reason. And that reason is to make money, right? They're a business. Um, nothing is free. Nothing is free. Um, you know, you could even say that about us. You know, we have a we have a link building. Yeah, we have agency, a business right? tied to and this. And so we, yeah. we do these live streams as a way, you know, to, to basically pulling in additional traffic, just more people into our network that say might see our products and might might give them a try. Right. Um, yeah. I guess any guru could say this really as part of their their con or whatever. Yeah, but, but we never say you know, we never say we've got like the max expertise and you need us to win and our products are the only ones that will help you win. Yeah, How, having said that, we use our own products extensively and we're successful. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're building our ecosystem, right? Anyway, I, and you know, to a certain extent, we're basically saying, well, don't trust those gurus, trust us. But we're, we're actually, um, <laughs> yeah. I guess we're not, people might see us as gurus in some sense, but we're really just doing these weekly live streams to try to try to help people, but also, you know, brings people into our network. It's kind of like a win-win situation, right? If we build a reputation for being helpful and um, just putting forth good vibes out there, then uh, maybe, you know, it'll bring more people good in. Vibes. Like, good vibes, bro. Um, but anyway, back to the guru bullshit. Um, one, of, one of the things that I've been, that has been around since the term white hat SEO and black hat SEO has been around, is bro i ranked this site with no backlinks mm -hmm. in a high competition niche when you see that there's there's two options uh that either they're stupid and they don't understand that by that, that by doing whatever they did they naturally accumulated some backlinks and that played a major factor in their ranking or they're being intentionally deceptive to sell bullshit of course yeah, or, whatever they're or making money their off their idea of competitive is um you know uh not that competitive in the grand scheme of things uh but most likely it's deception yeah so i'm not gonna name a name here i'll just say this was uh one of the bigger white hat SEO gurus in the space and they were recently um, I don't know how recently I guess they were kicked out of a bunch of Facebook groups and anyway um, the reason they were kicked out of a bunch of Facebook groups is because they they were caught photoshopping links out of a refs <laughs> to help <laughs> you, know, you can't make this shit up but, I know um, and it's a big it's a big name so it's just like to help what sell a... their uh, to help sell their course that claimed to teach people how to rank pages without links. So, the, you know, this is like, um, I mean, that's this, fraud, this, this is like know? a child, this is, this is like a child, like, you know, cheating on their homework, basically. This is like the level, <laughs> like the, the level of sophistication it takes to legitimately convince people enough to spend thousands of dollars. You know, we're, we're talking about like grade school level sophistication using whiteout yeah. on something, digital whiteout probably in Photoshop to make it look like there's even. no backlinks on something. Mm -hmm. Like, are you, are you kidding? Like, so just, I guess what I have to say is um, just beware of bullshit. Don't, don't be yeah, a, don't be a, a sucker. Like if you're an SEO, you're in marketing, right? Mm -hmm. SEO is a, is a, is a, is a part of marketing. And if you can't understand that people do very simple shit like this constantly, if you can't understand like what people need to do to sell something and to be skeptical of it, then maybe marketing- Go get a job maybe, somewhere yeah. else. Don't get an SEO. Maybe SQ. marketing is not for you. For sure. Like maybe you'd be better off elsewhere because like you're literally getting conned by like using like the tactics that you're supposed to be employing or could be employing. Um, maybe, to less, maybe to a less time. like nefarious degree, but you know, there's, you know, uh, selling a lot of things. There's just, you know, a lot of sales is kind of, uh, 
marketing is just kind of gross, right? It's it's For like sure. a little bit deceptive or whatever. Maybe not as deceptive as this, like extremely and blatantly intentionally deceptive, like striking at the core of what they're like the main principle of what they're doing. We don't need links to build this. Literally, yeah, I mean, they just in made this, it look like there is no middle ground. Like this is just purely no ethics yeah. um you know just malicious yeah um so hey, do the comment that came under it it was this one right yeah um <laughs> I got it. Just, oh well that kind of no, has a name i'm gonna take it out yeah that that comment actually i made me want to like just go throw up somewhere <laughs> um, yeah, it's a pretty good one. Sorry, guys, give me, give me one second here. And this is why, like, and this is what makes, like, Wait, 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 make sure I don't have a name in here. Sorry. Okay, I don't, I don't see any name in there. Okay, thank God. It was already too late anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, this was just a comment on one of these person's videos. Um, and this is what makes it like so much like more like disturbing and gross and like, um, just like, just total lack of respect and total like guru hatred, right? For, for these people that are twisting people's minds, right? So I work two jobs and I'm so busy and I don't have time to comment on videos I watch, but just know, but just so you know, your video channel is one of the very few I actually bother to watch and I find is genuine. This is this Literally. talking about the same person that photoshopped yes. a ref's that just, like, blatant out of the fraud, image. blatant fraud, intentional fraud to sell something, right? To sell a certain strain, a certain idea of SEO, uh, ranking without link building, ranking without that doesn't analytics. fucking exist. <laughs> it doesn't. Most SEO channels survive on clickbait, so they don't understand that you know, ranking without links that is clickbait. Like you are literally sure. saying the, you don't have clickbait on a video that like on the person that's like one of the biggest clickbaiters there is. He's huge. Um, yeah. It's, it, about what no. Goggle says. I actually laughed when they said Goggle instead of Google. I just thought that was funny. And they all say the same thing. So right here. So so basically, we just have a fundal, fundamental misunderstanding or, I don't know, it's just kind of like mental gymnastics territory. Because they say, I like you because you don't have clickbait. But... They also, they're just going against what everyone else says. Like that's clickbait. Like when, when you take something that's just super contrarian, like that is clickbait. Yeah. Like they, they, yeah, and if you see somebody that's only putting out content that, you know, creates kind of a stir like that. And that's not that's to say that their... general consensus can never be wrong. It can be. Um, but you just see like someone that's like twisted in this like this like guru uh, like spell that they've cast on them basically yeah. right that they're the person speaking the truth that their blatant clickbait is actually not clickbait but rather speaking truth to the the stupid masses right um thank you and then this is the part that this is the part where i actually like i might have started crying it says <laughs> then i go right to the source john moeller <laughs> Which um, John Weller is like the, uh, he's the like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like the forward face. Yeah. Yeah, he's like the spokesperson for Google that speaks to the SEO community. So you basically ask John Weller, hey, John Weller, if I like, you know, pay some for some high editor, high, high uh, 
authority editorial links from badass sites is going to help me and john Mueller say absolutely not we're going to catch you and you're going to get a penalty and yeah anyone who's been an seo he's the sheriff of google seo yeah he's like basically um he, he's the guy who basically repeats google's position to people uh he doesn't tell Dude, you he's like he's like the sheriff of nottingham and we're like robin hood <laughs> calm down calm down <laughs> but so so john weller the, the best comparison to john weller is like the um the press secretary to the president of the united states I'm not being political uh doesn't matter if it's trump or biden or whoever else yeah. the press secretary is that's their job to repeat the position of the president of the united states and to spin it in a way that basically ensures whatever goal they're trying to meet is reached right so it's to it's to repeat a position and to spin it in a way that makes the listener react and behave a certain way john weller's job is to tell the seo community uh bullshit in a way that they don't they stop trying to fuck with their algorithm and and do stuff that works that they haven't figured out a fix to and uh yeah to basically to basically get people to stop stop messing with the algorithm and play by the rules you know no link building uh put out good content all the time and you're gonna reach the stars baby kind of shit. um you know basically the white hat dream john weller is like the um yeah, he's that guy for Google, just repeating what they want people to do. They don't want people breaking their algorithm. They want people playing mm -hmm. by their rules. And then, hey, if you want to play by Google's rules, if you if you really like that authority of Google and you think Google is this amazing thing, maybe this maybe you know White Hat. Now, mind you, SEOs you video. know Google, the big corporation, the big corporations that do follow, you know. Um, how they do SEO can afford to because they've got constant pushes of content. They've got massive authority sites. They've got unlimited bankrolls to win. Um, you know, uh, if you're an individual who uh, has a limited bankroll is starting an affiliate site, um, you're going to have to be a little bit um, more explorative in, in, in how to compete against the, the big brands. And what's cool about it is the fact that if you do explore and you do study, you can get a leg up on um, you know, big brands, which historically used to just smash out any, any kind of competition. Yeah, basically, you know, they say most SEO channels survive on clickbait about what Goggle says, and they all say the same thing. Then I go right to the source, John Weller, and realize what they're all saying to do is just hype. I never follow the crowd. If you do, you can't stand out from the rest. Okay. This is, this is something, you, this is something like, you see so many people that are new to SEO try to do. They think they're going to find the thing themselves that allows them to succeed somehow. But but they think somehow following John Weller, Google, you're literally doing what Google's telling you to do. That is not following the crowd. I suppose I could see how somebody would think that's intuitive, right? Like, well, I'm going directly to the source. Google does SEO. It's how it all works. And so why wouldn't they tell me the truth? Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Because uh, they don't necessarily want everybody to be able to succeed at manipulating their no, data. They want no one um, to, right? That would be counterintuitive to their business model. Yeah, they right. You know, Google does not like SEOs. They don't like people gaming their algorithm and getting a leg up on people. You know, they they want the algorithm working a certain way. We find ways around that. Um, it's what we do. Um, but, but also, I never follow the crowd, and if you do, you cannot stand out from the rest. I feel like this is just like, also, um, I know they're talking about something different, but it also just like goes against like this like major principle of SEO that I go by, which is look at page one, look what's working, yeah. and emulate it, and, yeah. and, and then do it a little bit better. Like, in a, in a sense, you want to follow the crowd, and Google shows you yeah. exactly what it likes right mm -hmm. um and then you can just do it better yeah you can use like things that you've learned to basically get a leg up on them in the in the process of doing that um 
it's like everything this person said it's just it's just so twisted man they're, they're just so warped into this like anyway um ngmi you can't stand NGMI. out from the rest and be competitive especially when your competitors are e-commerce giants i like to think outside the box which is why i find your expertise valuable so they're talking about white hat seo is thinking outside the box listening to john weller's outside the box like you're and literally commenting their love like for you a person are the race box race you are the box <laughs> yeah i like your per and here's another thing I like your personal videos because the, this guru does personal videos uh, because it shows you are real and not just one of the SEO sheep. Uh, another thing, I'm just going to go ahead and if you're watching this, blow your mind real quick. Gurus do these personal vid videos to build their, their story, to build their personal brand, to build their cult following, the cult of personality. Like this, that's the whole purpose of it. Like, Again, like maybe just mar marketing or SEO in general is not for this person. Um, we can't understand why gurus are doing what they're doing uh, because you can employ these very same tactics on your affiliate sites, on your websites, whatever, on your client sites. Um, you know, you you add these elements of personalization. We're a real company. We, you know, we, we we're trustworthy. We do things a little bit differently around here. You know, we're not trying to we're not trying to sell you something. Um, they are trying to sell you something, you know, mm. that's, it's, it's, it's about money. Okay. Yeah. Or if they're even, you know, giving the information away, like it still ties into like a similar thing that we're doing with this show, right? Like it's building the brand, et cetera, overall. Um, but you know, when they start employing things like pure manipulation and deception, um, yeah, you can kind of gauge that they're just in it for the money. Yeah, so that was a bit of a rant. Um, we've been on a little bit of a, a little bit of a windy path today. A little <laughs> rant, rant day. It got us to go over on our time. Yeah, for sure. We also started started a bit late because um, yeah. of the technical difficulties, but so we didn't have as many live questions. So we had to do some backlog stuff and whatever, but. Yeah. So some if of you enjoyed stuff. our rant, and if you love ranting, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join us on Facebook, where oh, we can man. talk like this all day. We didn't tell people to like, comment, subscribe on any of the segments today. I don't think maybe just we're the so first bad one. at it. And that's why I was like, you know what? I don't give a shit whether we don't get monetized on YouTube. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's just let's take a stand here. This is about our individuality as freedom fighters helping you people out there that want to leg up on the corporate overlords and empires, um, you know, free information, go out there and get it. It's just, um, it just really disturbs me, you know, that the gurus, like they, they know what they're doing is wrong. And I like, the thing is, is this guy is a guru, but he's, he's a white hat. And so at the, you know, they sell their courses and whatnot, but at the end of the day, I bet I, I can, I can, I, I bet they They're aren't mainly even getting that, corporate clients I bet they aren't even likely. that successful. Like they're, they're, no. they're kind of like a, I don't know, like getting an engineering job straight out of college successful. Um, you Which know? is, it's good. <laughs> But this guy's been in a long yeah, like they're, time. They're if making, this is where their level money, of but it's not like dedication goes to, then it's great. like, like okay, you're like supporting yourself. But like, but the 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 worst part about it is like, so th they're taking that. That's their payoff for this for being intentionally manipulative, intentionally deceptive, um, and, and building this this guru thing they have going on. And then you have people like this poor person who buy into it hook line and sinker and and they're and then they're 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 now basing all of their financial you know they're they're running their business in a, in a certain way to based on a complete web of bullshit yeah um I, I don't know it just it's gross that's the reality that's yeah it is gross um, and, and yeah, that's, we, I feel like we say this pretty often, but, um, you know, you can, you can buy our products if you want to, that's fine. We're doing fine with or without additional clientele. 
Uh, you know, we've right. got other stuff going on as well. Yeah. Also, um, you know, that's something we probably should preface. It's like we do well with this business, right? Like, and uh, we enjoy this business, but it's not the only thing we're doing. And uh, if you think people that are successful in SEO are only, you know, focused on, you know, giving information and producing a profit out of other people that are in SEO, that is a very difficult um, business plan to execute on in comparison to the much easier things you can do going after and rolling and flipping affiliate websites, building local companies, any number of things that you can do with the talent of the recipes you've, you know, figured out in SEO. Um, yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's important to know that because if, uh, I don't trust Becker that much, man. Maybe it's some good information. Dude, but... why, why are you saying, why are you doing that? I'm a huge fan, I and I don't know why you bring that name out. He's a guru, uh, man. He's a guru. Uh, anyway, you know, just be careful out there, guys. Be skeptical. Um, I'm not saying, you know, and, you know, this, this guy, too, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's got, you know, parts of his courses and stuff that are immensely helpful. Um. And, and that's what makes it even harder, right, to determine where the bullshit is, which part of this is sales and bullshit and which part of it is actually helpful and should I be following? Um, yeah, so, you know, maybe maybe my advice or the one big takeaway from this is if, if you're kind of newer and you're you're, um, you know, you're really into a couple of gurus or whatever, also have some people. You know, try to try to actually make some like friends or whatever people that are actually uh, maybe in the groups that that aren't gurus and they're not trying to make money selling you shit and just uh, you know try to try to make some contacts and people you can kind of like bounce things off of and um, people that have actually succeeded doing stuff you know they don't have to be the biggest thing in the world but actually have some um, some experience doing stuff and um, yeah maybe it just I know, I know it's a, it's a rough world out there, right? There's just so much, there's just so much crap. It's hard to kind of filter it at times, but yeah, you can also bounce stuff off, off of us in our group. We'll completely shut down stuff that, um, we think is manipulative or, um, or we know is manipulative or whatever. Um, and I think we're also pretty good about saying, you know, I, we always do like the disclaimers on stuff. Like, for example, when we're talking about like real like spammy kind of like black hat shit, um, like <clears throat> it's not our way of doing things, but we should say like this 100% can work and does work all right. the time. It's just, it's risky and you have to understand the risk, right? Um, and, I, and I feel like, you know, if you need to bounce stuff off us, we can, we can try to shoot you the straight shit. All right, I, I think we're we're good with ranting for today. Um, it's gonna be funny to see how these videos do. <laughs> yeah, this see, is the first um, time we're doing something more personalized, I guess. Yeah, uh, I'll, maybe I'll make some like super clickbait. Uh, I feel like given seeing like titles. what other people that are in the limelight, so as to not use the word guru, but. Uh, I feel like the main stuff that gets traction on their following is always like the more personalized stuff that's easier to jump into because a lot of people don't want to study real hard on the internet. They just want to, you know, latch on to an ideology that they like or care about. And uh, maybe this rant will bring on some uh, solid following. Or maybe not. Yeah. Either way, like, comment, subscribe. Join the Facebook group SEO Roundtable, not SE Roundtable. Don't trust those guys. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.